Some parents thought that they had found the perfect daycare for their children until they learned of a disturbing discovery behind a fake wall. More than two dozen children were being hidden in the basement. Investigators in Colorado Springs had received a complaint the home daycare had too many children. Well, now they know how the owner was hiding them. Our Dominic Garcia tonight at the Colorado Department of Human Services. Dom, that agency is also a part of the investigation. Jim, in a number of ways, not only are they investigating the location that you mentioned, but also another license location that belongs to this woman. DHS assures us, though, anyone they license goes through extreme vetting. It never seemed chaotic or full. Betsy Murphy couldn't believe it when she heard her son's daycare, Clay Mountain Place, had been shut down. I never thought it was something serious. And the reason why is because I love Carla and I love all the caregivers there. I intentionally put, placed my son here because I thought it was the best daycare in town. But officials say Carla Faith, the daycare owner, was way over capacity. In fact, they say they found 26 children hidden behind a wall inside her home. When I think back on all the lies that she told me and um, I think that they were caring for the children, but also caring for the children in the secret room that we didn't know about. The Department of Human Services licenses family child care homes. They say the licensee must reside in the home. All residents must pass a background check and complete training. They say Faith passed both Colorado and federal background checks. Betsy says her son used to love going to daycare. My child did not react adversely to seeing her. He always wanted to go. He talked about her and the caregivers on the weekend. But when she looks back, that recently changed. He would start crying and say, I don't want to go to Chrissy's house. Don't take me to the little house. Now, Faith also operates the Counterpoint School in Colorado Springs. That has also been closed down. DHS also confirmed they are looking to see if she was housing kids at other unlicensed locations. In Denver, Dominic Garcia, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Dominic.